I want to talk about UFC 246 and why I think it was fixed. Alright. Well, first of all, it was being talked about before the fight even happened. That it was fixed. Two, there was very little media on the fight. The fight announcement. The... Um... It was just kind of like shrugged under and kind of like announced without being announced. Three, the press conference, the friendliness. They weren't friendly when they first um, when they first uh, encountered each other, you know. And then, and this is all stuff outside the fight, you know. I think Cowboy realizes that it's in towards the end of his career. He's got very few times and little to make money. I think he was probably handed a lot of money under the table. Um, another reason, the UFC. Connor means a lot to the UFC. And him winning means a lot to the UFC. Him losing, loses, um, mainly on the hardcore base, loses his fan base, right? Like... But the fanboys, the casuals will always... Oh, Connor's fighting. I have people that know that I like UFC that'll tune in for a Connor fight. I told my friend before he like left work to go home and came back, the fight's probably fixed. You know? And, you know, so... I expected a short fight... Alright, as far as the fight's concerned, I mean, there's other things that I'm missing, that I know I'm missing. Uh, I, I just got off from a work hitch for two weeks, headed home, five-hour drive. Um, anyway, the fight starts off, you know, they oh, the narrative. So, I gotta tell you the narrative for it to follow along with the fix. Fix has to follow the narrative. What everybody thought would happen. Or it's a bad fix. So, you got Con Connor being the fast starter and, and Cowboy being the slow starter. Okay? Well, that's exactly what happened. So, Connor comes out, throws this big haymaker left. Misses this left hand by any... He's never missed a left hand so wide of a margarine in his life. Comes out and makes it look real intense, real fast and strong, like he's trying to kill the dude. Like, it's a big act. And then... He hits him with four shoulder shrugs. Shoulder strikes, as they're calling it. To the face. Right? Because it's a new technique, you know, that he's employed into his game plan and they have to have something to talk about. And um, so he gets hit with four in a row. Cowboy doesn't defend them at all. He breaks loose, goes, tumbles straight backwards. Like he's never been in a fight before. Connor rushes forward, throws a high kick. It's mostly blocked. Toes hit. And then Cowboy gets swarmed by Connor and a bunch of punches get blocked and a couple land. Let me tell you, real fighters that are fixing a, a real that are trying to make the fight look real some of it's going to be semi-real like if you're fixing a fight and somebody's handing you a million dollars on the table you're going to take a punch to the face okay yeah, the shoulder shrugs are, sh strikes are going to hurt a little bit a little bit but not like not like that left hand that was going to not floor him if he actually landed 
like or anything of significant like we know how durable cowboy is look at Matt uh, who did he fight a real tough dude jeez I can't remember his damn name Matt Brown you know durable he was in that and in other fights where they were like wars almost get back up go to the ground take a bunch of strikes take shots to the body Cowboy's a company man he fights anywhere anytime and and uh, he's their dude boy he'll do what do, does whatever the UFC will tell him to do so especially for money he likes his toys he likes his ranch his hot rods and animals and jet skis and wakeboards he lives a lavish life of course he took the fight he'll bounce back in his next fight to give Connor way more credibility he did just come off two really tough fights though before the Connor fight then okay let me break down what else I think besides the big left that missed that obviously missed you know and then the shoulder strikes are bullshit it's just like something new they could talk about the kick was blocked and then all the punches on the ground if you if you pause when the punch lands and like when he's throwing the punches and then you compare those photos and those still frames to other fights where people are using everything they have to finish somebody like all these muscles are strained and sticking out and veins are popping and it, they look insanely ripped none of that was happening in any of those photos he was just throwing with like motion good motion but no in force or like intensity to it like it wasn't they weren't like super power punches the motion without the power so I mean it was very well done but I feel bad for the people that can't see the fix and and there's a lot of MMA channels and I some of them I can't tell if they're following along with the narrative or they're part of the narrative and for two different reasons one because that's how they make their living is the sport and if they were to finagle a, a huge fight like that it would it would make viewers not tune in see I won't watch another fight until the Tony Ferguson the B fight because I'm just disenchanted with the whole the whole thing I'm and and I won't watch another Conor fight Unless I know he's fighting somebody that's not going to lay down. So, you know, it just, it's not the first UFC fight that I thought was fixed either. But, you know, there was other good fights on the card. I like my bread and circus. I like sport. I think athletes should be cherished. And sports should be a good thing. You know, you can be aware and woke-minded and like sports. You know, a lot of people hate athletes, but then cherish soldiers. They're not the ones out, you know, doing evil's bidding, right? You know, so... Sport is what a utopia should be centered around. Friendly, competitive spirit where people reach their peak in physical and mental games of chess so I don't follow the whole line of negative bread and circus I think it's good bread and circus so but it does bother me that they're that they would think they would need to fix that fight. It is stylistically a bad matchup for Cowboy. 
So, I mean, he doesn't do well with left-handed boxers. He doesn't do well with uh, quick board pressure, first rounds, under the big lights. He's a gatekeeper, a choker. And Connor's the exact opposite of that. I understand that. They didn't need to go there. But because all the little stuff in between, many people think the fight's fixed. And they're justified. I just feel sorry for all the little channels that I follow that have to defend it because they're afraid of losing viewers. Or, you know... Uh, hits and ratings and shit like that. But I'll keep watching the weasel, you know. But there's a certain narrative that the news does, that so does MMA media do, does. You know, most of your MMA media is controlled by the UFC, and they're told to repeat a narrative that the rest of them repeat. If you watch enough of all the news, right, no matter what kind of news it is. They all say similar, same things, the story's the same. Not because they're all thinking it, because they're being told to say this shit. So, yeah, that's that. Um, I'm gonna load this up to Facebook and YouTube. Please like, share, subscribe, hit me up. Peace.